Good nearly afternoon or midday right now at this moment it is 11.59 on the 12th of the 12th 2019. I know there's a few people who think this is the rapture and maybe it is and lucky for them if they get sucked off the earth. Personally I'd rather stay here. So as it's about to tick over to midday I'm going to walk through with you this chart of the wave. I'll let you have a good look at it here as there's plenty of information um, but I'm going to go through and explain it and what this chart allows is for you to see where you are on your wave with a bit of feeling and what what you can expect to have where you've come from and where you're going. Okay. So let's uh, walk through this. So on the left here we have day brackets in two because it's the, the wave period is two days. So you've got one day up and one day down. And with these first three, the day, the month and the year, women are on one side and men are on the other. So when the women are up, the men are down. And there's also a shift if you've been born in the Northern Hemisphere or the Southern Hemisphere. Now, I've been doing this for the Northern Hemisphere, but for those few who've been born in the Southern Hemisphere, it still applies to you because your autumn is then in March. So that's why I've written autumn. But you're basically six months ahead of those in the northern hemisphere but as most people live in the northern hemisphere when I talk about where we are in the year for example I'll be talking for those in the northern hemisphere so we, as we see you've got the two-day period so we go from 0 o'clock midnight to 12 o'clock midday and at this point you're going up you reach your peak and then you'll be coming down and at midnight you'll cross the midpoint and then you'll be going down until 12 o'clock the next day when you reach your peak lull or peak sorry not lull peak trough <clears throat> okay then on the month we got two a two month period so you see the second one in there is just a white moon so that's a full moon so if this is if you're coming up on this moon you'll be coming up and you'll hit the top where you've got half moon and it's half going away that is the peak point then you have no moon as you're coming down and half a moon coming as you cross the midpoint and you come to your full moon and then as you reach the bottom again it will be the half moon going so as the moon is going away when it's half that's when you hit the lowest point or the highest point the peak and the trough okay so then we've got the year now I can tell you that on an even year men will be going up and on an odd year men will be hitting their lowest point so if we start there with spring equinox say it's an even year and you're a man summer's summer's coming and you, you you're going up and you hit the peak on the autumn equinox so September the 21st around there then during the winter you'll be coming down spring you'll hit the midpoint so because men are coming up and women are coming down the midpoint is also the crossing point and you'll be going down through that summer you'll be going down and then you'll hit your lowest point in the autumn equinox and that's where we've just been in 2019 for men it's been their lowest point and for women it's been their highest point and if you're in the summer, southern hemisphere then you're six months ahead so men will have been coming up for six months if they were born in the southern hemisphere okay that's the first three then the second three are slightly different in firstly that um, both women and men are on the same wave 
and secondly it's not two periods of 19 years 19 year is a period of the full wave the full wave and so what I've written across here is the the years that are coming up and in brackets the ones we've been through so we've got starting here at 2019 is when we March 2019 thereabouts with the months I was a bit sort of estimate counting with my fingers and stuff so but about thereabouts March 2019 we were coming up past the midpoint August 2021 we'll be going up and in brackets 2002 was the last time we were doing this January 2024 is when we'll hit the peak and in brackets 2005 is when we last did this and then 2026 coming down 2028 November to December is when we'll cross back down under the midpoint 2031 will be going down September 2033 will hit up the trough and the last time we did that was 2014 February 2036 will be coming back up 2038 will be coming back to the midpoint as it is now <clears throat> now the next one is a 798 year wave that's uh, pretty long um, now I've done videos on how recently on how I've come to these for the day month and year I've known about these for a good few years now I've been monitoring them and I'm um, I know they're right I the way this began was when I was giving up cannabis for periods of about two weeks for some other reason and I'd done this several times and I noticed how each time I was giving up for the two weeks how sometimes it was quite easy and sometimes it was quite hard and I noticed re related to the moon so I got onto the moon one first so I was noticing over a period of days how difficult it was to come off cannabis but then I started to notice how every other day you know was a harder day and then the next day was a kind of a good day and then I got into the year one and only recently have I got into the 19 year one so I've just read out the 19 years now the 798 year and the 2128 year are related to the 19 year cycle so that it's part of that so if we have a quick look across starting at the midpoint 1862 or on the previous occasion 1064 and uh, going up 1961 coming up and the last time it was like that 1163 hitting the peak June 2061 so we've got that to come and the world was like that again back in 1263 could be debatable we will see I'll be certainly looking more into these things and coming back down March 2061 to 2161 and then down further crossing the midpoint 2261 2360 going down hitting the lowest point 2460 and the last time that happened was 1662 interesting and then coming back up hitting the midpoint in 2660 and then we've got the biggest wave 21 28 year so coming up at the midpoint 532 going up 798 hitting the peak 1064 starting to come down 1330 crossing the midpoint 1596 going down 1862 hitting the lowest point 21 28 so we've got that to come coming up 2394 and hitting the mid midpoint there in 2660 and uh, so yeah that was an explanation of all the dates and then I, you can see here I've just highlighted um, the way that it moves through the day as I've actually I will see these before right so we've got the ascent line 
you know, at this point, you're you're feeling good. It's it's good coming up, right? And like Yeshua said, there's a time to build up and there's a time to break down. Coming up, things are feeling good. But then we go the other way, descent. You know, coming down. But you do get used to it. On this descent and ascent line, you you become accustomed to it. It's actually when the changes occur that, and you you've almost got to I've noticed accept the feeling. These changes occurring. Yes, I'm going to be going down now. You feel the feeling, and then you you're kind of accustomed to it, like allowing your ears to pop on the plane. You know, instead of sitting there complaining about it getting all frustrated you know you've just got to allow those ears to equalize that's very that's a pretty good analogy actually so then we've got here high lull period low lull period so in these periods it's not changing an awful lot certainly not as much as it was and so they are like lull periods. It's sort of the, the calm before the the new position that you're taking. So in a high lull period, you can do nothing wrong, you know. And if we look at um, 1263 and 1064, you know, that was a very high period because both of those added together. So we can see on another chart that I've done in a previous video, they could do no wrong. They felt like they could do no wrong. Right? But it's not correct. And then in a lull, low, peri low lull period, you'll feel like you can do nothing right. The crossing point. So I thought it looks nice. <laughs> Those little stars. You, you're crossing. The, the first three are the more interesting for the crossing point because it's. It's a time when men and women are on an equal level, but going in different directions. Um, but, you know, there's that crossing point. That's the midpoint. And we, all we know, all our lives, we are quite low at the moment. If you look at the big line, 1596 was when we crossed the crossing point. Um, and... Fair enough, on the 798 wave, we are above the crossing point. But on the big one, we are below it. On the 19-year one, we're just right on the mid of it and coming up. So, it's interesting. <clears throat> now, here I've highlighted the the, the middle sections, so the peak and the, and the lull. Really, just to have a look at those dates and... Um, and, uh, you know, we've got some historical dates there. What's the difference between 1263 and 1662? Well, I don't know. You can have a look in history. I think there's quite a disparaging difference. Right, so the magnitude. Now, basically, I've written here points, but, you know, how can we measure this? You know, what, what measurement unit should we use? I mean happiness chunks gold nuggets <laughs> whatever you want to call it right but basically what's important is how they relate to each other now so basically whatever is happening on your day wave will override all the others combined if only just slightly so but two points Per day, so that's the movement from midday today to midday tomorrow. You will move two points either up or down. Now the month one works out to about one point per day, so half as much. But combine them if you're going up on your moon and up on your day. You combine them, you're going to be going up more. And then the year, 0 0.5 points per day. On the 19 year, 0 0.25 points per day. On the 798, 0.125 points per day. Now this last one, I'm not sure when I did the charts, I did it actually at the same, at 0 0.125 points. 
but perhaps it should be 0 0.05125 points. So <clears throat> I need to have a look at that at some point and just see what it looks like. So that is the magnitude. And that's the end of the little pictures that I've got. So um, I might stick a picture in here showing you the, an Excel worksheet where I've been making the waves using values, but uh, we'll see. Anyway, I uh, feel like I've rambled on for long enough and hopefully that explains it and you can perhaps just have a good look and a good think for yourself and yeah, be interesting to get some feedback. Anyway, I'll say ciao for now.